What's up guys, it's Ryan back again with another mix trick. Today we're going to be looking at how to figure out what key a song is in and what notes are being played in a song without having to ask the maybe not so intelligent musician or picking up a guitar or piano and trying to figure it out. This is extremely useful when you're mixing a track and you need to add some pitch correction to a vocal maybe or maybe you need to um, uh, layer one of your own instruments over the top of this and the musician has long went home and uh, you don't want to deal with trying to contact them because you know they're out partying somewhere and they're not going to be of any help. Eh, that happens all the time. Anyway, all right, here's what we're going to do. We're going to take a look at our track. We have our drums laid out in yellow and we have our bass guitar in green here. We're going to be working with the bass guitar because with this particular song, the bass guitar sticks to that um, root note. It's a nice and open instrument for this song and uh, it's going to give us a clear indication of what our root note is and what other notes are being played um, by the bass and other instruments. So here we go. We are going to open up our mixer window. This can go for um, any DAW. I'm working in Logic right now, but you know, Pro Tools, Studio One, whatever. We're going to find our bass guitar. I'm going to solo it and then I'm going to go up and add a stock pitch correction tool. Now I'm not trying to pitch correct the bass guitar at all, but what I'm trying to do is just get an idea of what key it's in and what other notes are, are being played. I'm gonna keep my scale set to chromatic and I'm gonna go ahead and hit play and listen to the bass. So I obviously noticed that my key is in the song of B. I have an accidental with the D sharp. I have an E back to B and then an octave of B as well in there. So right away I have um, all my notes for that particular part and I found my root. Very helpful. I'm going to listen to the whole song with the bass unsoloed and um, we are going to see what else is surrounding that bass guitar. you can see um, I could now go ahead and add a, a lead over that if I want um, anything that I want and or pitch correct anything that I want say I have a vocal where the singers a little pitchy I can go ahead I know now that it's in the key of B I know what notes are being played and what's gonna work and what's not simple way to do it and uh, very effective and efficient before I finish the mix I'm obviously gonna want to take off that pitch correction plug in because I don't want pitch correction going on on my bass guitar. All right, guys, thanks a lot for watching again. This is Ryan. Make sure you subscribe. Thank you.